we are making a circuit that we um, are trying to have all of the wires connecting, but we can't have them touching or else it'll stay on all of them. So we're trying to make like a switch to turn on and off. All right, what you're going to be seeing today is the students working on an engineering project. Um, it's one of our EI units that we're doing with electricity. And what they have done is they have been designing um, a circuit that closes with a switch. So they had to test different materials to see which would work best um, as conductors. And then they had to design their switch and they have to test it to make sure that the switch is able to close the circuit. The truss, we would put water in it. Yeah. When it fell down, the light bulb would light up yes. and remind us that the truss was empty. Yes. But when it was full of water, it would go down and it, the circuit wouldn't be closed. So then the yeah. light bulb wouldn't light. Um, each EI unit starts off with, they usually read a story. And in the story, the character is presented with a specific problem that's related to where they live. And then that ends up being the challenge that the students have to complete in small groups. And they um, do that walking through the engineering design process each step. The story was about this girl. She wanted, she got in trouble for not filling up the sheep water shop. And so she was, um, so she needed an alarm and a light bulb or a light to remind her when the sheep were out of water. It's really huge here in, in Austin, especially because it leads right into I.J. Holton being an engineer. You know, when, when the kids went there last year, um, my fourth graders I had last year, we went and we saw the engineering design process all over the wall and the kids were so excited to see something that they had recognized and knowing that that's what they're going to be doing the next couple years at IJ. And it's really helping them solve problems. I mean, it's a step-by-step -step helping them, well, how am I going to solve this problem to the end? And not just, okay, let's go and do this. It's the mindset of planning. We need to ask questions first, you know, then we're going to come up with a plan, imagine different ideas, plan it out, then create it, and whether it works or not, how are we going to improve it? And it starts over from there. In real life, if you have, like, if you're making something and you needed to build a circuit, you could just um, use what you learned from school and use it in real life. And once you get older, the harder the project you will probably get. So then the more education you will learn from your younger like, grades. To me, with these units, I see a, a lot higher interest in science. You know, instead of just reading out of a science book or looking at something online, um, anything that's interactive, and that's really what you know these EI units do. It gets the kids involved, it gets them thinking, their problem solving, not just what did this student do or how did these people solve it. It's what are we going to do to solve this problem? And I mean, it's wide open as far as what they want to do. Yes, science is my favorite subject. In school.